Hello everybody, hope you're well. I just wanted to make this video today in order to try and help any of you guys that are setting up your own coaching business. Now I appreciate it can be a very difficult time, especially when you've just set out to find, um, find new people and find new clients to enroll in your business. Especially when you don't have money to invest in yourself, which a lot of people don't these days. These are, these are very hard financial times. Uh, I know because I've been there. So yeah, if you haven't got thousands for expensive websites and you haven't got um, hundreds for internet marketing or uh, funnels or even social media advertising, it can be a very difficult time. So what I've done, I, I've literally done this, this model myself. Uh, so what I did, I started off as an affiliate marketer the reason I did that is because that way you can already you can deal with an influencer or an entrepreneur that have already set up their business model. So they already have a website or they already have the sales funnels, they already have the affiliate links for you, and then you're sort of ready to ready to rock and roll on minimum or no cost whatsoever for yourself. So that I would definitely recommend that to get yourself started. Also, if you are, a, a, let's say you're a life coach, what I'd suggest you do, or any kind of coach for that matter, is set yourself up a LinkedIn profile, which is what I did as well. I mean, I've, I'm very new to LinkedIn myself, actually. I've only been on there for uh, probably not even two months yet. But um, I'm already up to about 1,500 connections. Now, I know that doesn't sound like massive numbers, but if you think about the short space of time, it's not too bad when you think that the maximum is 30,000 connections, and I know that sounds like a lot, but if I'm already at 1,500 after a couple of months, I'd say that's quite a good growth over a short time. So yeah, I would definitely suggest doing that. And just the methods I've used, it's not, it's not anything rocket science. All I've done really is just try to be friendly with people and be genuine. I think that's what sort of shines through, especially on this platform. If you're trying to be fake or you're trying to make out that you're somebody that you're not, people are going to see through it and they're not going to be as keen to interact with you. Whereas if you just be honest and say, look, this is who I am, I need help with this, I need, uh, I would like to know a little bit more about that, then people are much more inclined to give you a bit of help, which is what i found. So I'm connected with some really good influencers on there that have got hundreds of thousands of followers and they're uh, more than happy to help you out and give you some tips really. So. I would definitely suggest that. And all you really want to do is like people's comments. Um, I, I tend to post my own stuff as well. So I'll post um, comments or um, little tips or advice about stuff. Or I'd, I even put my own videos on there now. So yeah, just, just to get known. I mean, I, I, don't get me wrong. I'm not very comfortable with videos, but I, I've not been doing them that long either. But... The thing is, if you've got, you've got to start somewhere, haven't you? So yeah, I would suggest these things. I mean, if you're not comfortable doing videos, then maybe just stick to posting and um, liking comments and commenting on other people's posts. And I'm still sure, pretty sure that you can get somewhere. So yeah, I would definitely suggest doing that. Connect with people that are in your niche as well. So then you've got a common ground and uh, the conversation will flow a lot easier for you, I think. So those are my tips for today, guys. Uh, if you like what I'm talking about, I'm going to be doing more videos on, on similar subjects and, and talking about business and stuff. So if you do like what I'm talking about, please subscribe and hit the bell at the bottom. And I'll look forward to speaking to you about these sort of things again. Cheers.